Hello, everybody, and welcome. As we like to do every week, we like to take a look at the past week's market activity and then kind of bounce around the market and look for something to trade. Well, finally, we're starting to see some action in the market, and you can see that here with this volatility spike. You can see the market has taken a bit of a dive over the last couple of weeks. Now, if you look at it over the long haul, right, really, all that's happened is we're basically back exactly a month. So we've only lost a month roughly in the market since we were at this level. So not a huge big deal, but obviously things are a lot more volatile, which is good. We like volatility. That's always how we like to trade. So this excites me. Volatility is coming back in the market. Hopefully we'll get a bit more and it's not just a one-time thing and things kind of just continue on. Now, normally I would say like, okay, let's go in and trade the SPY because it's shot up to 49 and we can do that. And if we look at the NASDAQ, obviously that's kind of the same story, not nearly the volatility it looks like as um, the SPY. And you can see that here by the 38, right? The volatility is like 10 points less. And of course the Russell, which is also volatility has spiked quite a bit. You can see that's way up at 69. In general, the IWM or the Russell is always a lot more volatile than the other two indices. But again, if you look here, really everything's come back to about a month. We've lost about a month. What I want to do this week is, even though these are volatile and we could absolutely trade these, we've traded these a lot and we'll come back to them. Hopefully the next week gets more volatile and we pop back in. But I want to do something a little bit more fun and show you a couple different things we can do. So this is silver. And you can see silver, as we talked about with gold, when commodities go up, generally volatility goes up. And on this last Friday, it took a big dump. And look, volatility took a big dump, which is opposite to what stocks would look like. In this case, you'd see it turn the other way around with volatility, as you've just seen in the indexes. So what we're going to do this week is I'm going to let you pick it. So essentially, what I'm going to say is if you're a trend trader, you like to follow the trend, Generally speaking, you're going to consider this is just like one little move, but you're going to say, oh, I think it's going to go up from here. And if you're like me, a contrarian, you're going to bet it's going to go down from here because when things go shooting to the moon, as a contrarian, I think the other way. But I don't know what you are, so we're going to let you decide what to do. Now, volatility is still high. You can see it's still above 50. So we're going to sell either a put vertical if you think that the silver is going to continue to go up, or we're going to sell a call vertical if we think it's going to go down from here. So if we go to the trade page, we'll go out here to 47 days, which would be 46 tomorrow. And the stock price is right around, you know, high 25, around 26. So what we do is, if you're a trend trader, you're going to look to sell a put vertical. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go down to the 25 strike. And we're going to do a simple trade here. We're going to make it really small, just a dollar wide, just to illustrate the example. So if we think the stock is going to go up from here, we sell a put just below the stock price, buy a put further down, $1 away, and we're looking to collect at least $0.33 cents or more on this trade, $0.33 to $0.40 cents per dollar width. This is a dollar wide. That fits our example. On the call side, what we do is we always sell the strike just above the stock price. So that'd be 26. And we'd look to sell, I'm going to leave them both up here at the same time so you can look at them side by side, 27. All right. So this one, we're not collecting enough as right now. The market's obviously closed and things are going to change on, on Monday. But here's what we're going to do. Again, this is the call vertical. This is if you're a contrarian like myself and you think the stock or the silver will go down from here. When the market opens tomorrow, wherever this number is, we're going to go one strike below if we believe it's a, if we're a trend trader and create a $1 wide vertical and look to collect 33 to 40 cents for that dollar. If we're a contrarian, we're going to go one strike above and create that $1 wide vertical again and look to collect 33 to 40 cents per dollar width. If we can't, we don't make the trade. I know this is close, 31 is almost 33, but discipline is the key to successful trading. So if we're not collecting at least 33 cents to 40 cents per dollar width, we're not making this trade. But that is our trade, that's the pick em for tomorrow in silver. And like I said, puts for trend traders, calls for contrarians, have fun. Hopefully one of us will be right. Take care and happy trading.
everyone, I am excited to let you know I've completed a book that is now available to everyone that wants to get it called Learn to Trade in 7 Days. This is a book that will take you from absolute ground zero as far as knowing absolutely nothing about options all the way to trading them. Now I'm so intent on getting this book to you because I really believe it is such a valuable resource for anybody and everybody that I'm going to offer an incredible deal on this, so stick with me on this. But before we get there, I want to show you what the book entails. The book is broken down into seven days, day one being what is an option. You'll learn everything about options themselves. We'll compare stocks versus options. Then we'll get into basic option strategies like the vertical. And finally, we'll wrap it up with how to trade verticals and then the making and managing of trades, which is to me the key to success long term above all. Now, as I mentioned, if you get into it now, if you go to this link, you can get this book for only $9.99. And I know that may not appeal to a lot of people because a lot of people aren't into books, but I'm so intent on getting you this book because I really believe it is such a valuable resource to anybody and everybody that I'll also throw in any one of my courses right here available on Udemy right now. So for only $9.99, you not only get the book itself, but you get one free course which can be valued for as much as $100 depending on when and where you buy these courses. Again, just go to this link here and it'll take you to this page where as you can see, you'll get the book and one of my courses for only $9.99. So really can't be beat. So again, just to reiterate, go to this link here. You will get my book which you can hang on to forever and I really believe it's such a vital resource. I'm throwing in a course to really get you motivated to buy this book. That's how important I really believe this book is. The book and one of my courses for only $9.99 simply by going to this link. Please jump on this opportunity. It is something you really will be happy you did.